Hi, and welcome back to the Loyalty Leaders Podcast. I'm David Feldman, Chair of the Loyalty Summit, and I'm joined today by Dave Candy from Built Rewards. Hi, Dave. Hi, David. How are you? Good, thanks. Yourself? Very good, thanks. Enjoying the, the hot summer. Oh, absolutely. It is. It is. Summer is here with a vengeance, and uh, for those in the Northern Hemisphere, at least. Um, for those who, uh, well, many people are familiar with who you are. You've been a big uh, a big supporter of Loyalty Summit over the years, and 10 and many of them, and you'll be joining us in Chicago on September 17th, 18th, um for Lodi summit americas but ahead of that i wanted to sort of not wait to chicago to get to chat to you again and uh you had some time today so we wanted to um to steal a little bit of your time to talk a little bit about what's happening with built rewards um some new developments um just sort of some some things happening in loyalty that uh that might be relevant to our listeners which of course you know predominantly are those people either practicing in loyalty roles or very interested uh you know in the industry um, now, most of our listeners are familiar with 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 you, Dave. They're familiar with Bit Built Rewards, but just in case they're perhaps not familiar as they should be, um, can you sort of give us the the, the quick uh, the, the quick couple of minute background on on what Built Rewards is and what you do? Sure, and certainly looking forward to joining you in Chicago. Um, so, Built Rewards essentially is a program that we put together that is all around the home and the neighborhood. Uh, we started off where we were uh, rewarding. Um, you for on-time pay- uh, rent payments. Um, you know, rent was always a, a, an area that really wasn't kind of tackled with regards to you're spending money and you're getting nothing for it. So we created a program that allows you to earn points on rent, and then you can use those points either towards rent, towards a down payment on a home, or travel um, and and other other elements. Um, So that's how we kind of like started. It was tackling that problem. Um, And then we've subsequently kind of like expanded it much more into a neighborhood program. So we're in the process of like building out a a neighborhood network of merchants um, that allows you to kind of engage with your local community. Um, So Built really is becoming a community kind of based program all around your neighborhood. Um, so whether, you know, whether you're having a a coffee at your local cafe, um, you know, eating at your local, uh, restaurant built basically as a program that rewards that type of behavior. Um, so we're very, very, um, delighted to kind of like work with our property managers and owners, um, in engaging with the local merchants, uh, to, to, uh, to the, to the, to their locality. Yeah, and for those that might not be familiar, you sort of talked about your property managers and things, but you know, for those that might not be familiar with, with sort of how the structure of, of built is, is sort of set up in terms of partnerships, is that you've actually formed partnerships with, you know, most of, if not all of the major, you know, sort of corporate rental uh, re- rental suppliers um, in the market across the United States. So if you are a tenant at, you know, one of those big um, big rental suppliers, chances are they're a built rewards partner and you can earn um, reward points in the built rewards ecosystem simply from paying your rent or perhaps, you know, signing a renewal or, you know, depending on what that, that particular property manager is owning, correct? That's right. Exactly right. Um, so glad, glad you know so much about the program. So essentially all of the major real estate owners in the country, you know, whether you've got your Grey Stars, your related group, Avalon, Um, and so forth, Windsor, if you're staying in one of those properties, you're part of what we call the Built Alliance. Now, Built actually is relevant beyond uh, that alliance as well. So you don't have to necessarily be staying in a Built property to to earn points on rent. Built is available to everybody. Um, But really, when you start talking about those major multifamily uh, buildings, um, and by the way, if you walk by any of those, you will see the built logo, right, a, a plate right on the, the door and the, of, of all of those. It is a built alliance property. Um, so we're very proud of that. You know, we've got about three and a half to four million properties right now um, spun up on the, the, the program and it continues to grow. So. The great thing is that we've built, not only have we built a program from, uh, for a consumer, a renter, but we've also kind of built a platform for that rental kind of uh, community from, from, from the perspective of the owner. 
uh, and the property manager. So they now have the tools to kind of reward their 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 renters and you know their residents for for continuously paying on time rent. You know they can actually um, acknowledge milestones, whether it be a birthday or an anniversary or whatever for a tenant, um, and they can use the the built currency um, to to you know also acknowledge that type of behavior or, or encourage uh, a specific type of behavior. Um, and those properties are key as well in engaging the local merchant network around them. Um, because if you think about, you know, when you generally moved into a property before, you were kind of given vouchers to kind of go down to the local cafe or use the local laundrette. All of that is changing now uh, around built. So the built neighborhood is basically activating with all of those uh, merchants. And now you can earn points just by actually um, uh, interacting with them. And, you know, separate to sort of the, the built alliance in terms of, you know, rental rental tenants, uh, you also have the built co-brain card, which uh, which is which you've launched with uh, with Wells Fargo. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, but you don't have to be a card holder to earn points in the built uh, ecosystem. Uh, just like you don't have to be a tenant in a built alliance partner to earn points in the in the ecosystem uh, as you've as you've mentioned you know when we think about the you know the the co-brand um uh the co-brand card and the, the value proposition there in the points and miles world mm -hmm. you know a lot of people sort of view built as oh it's another transferable currency program you know perhaps yeah. perhaps akin to amix membership awards or chase ultimate rewards or capital one for example um you know, I, I appreciate that, you know, built is, is much more than that. Um, and that's, you know, that's, you know, you, I, I'm not going to say to you, oh, you know, is built really just a transferable points program? I know, I know your answer to that is absolutely not as more to it, but my, my question that I did want to put to you, um, on that is, you know, it goes with that saying, just like any other brand or any other program, if you are fully engaged through multiple touch points, including the co-brand card, that's how you really maximize your earnings and your redemption opportunities and things like that. That goes without saying. But do you have, um, you know, now that you're sort of a couple of years into uh, into existence, um, which is pretty young in the in the scheme of things, but you've been very very fast growing. Uh, are there any insights, perhaps, you could share or sort of takeaways in terms of? You know, I don't know, maybe the breakdown of people engaged in the program that are sort of perhaps tenants in your alliance partners versus people that aren't tenants at all, but just co-brand card holders or, or vice versa or sort of anything else that sort of jumps out when we... Let me, let me, let me kind of touch uh, from, from, from the top there uh, initially, David, because I, I just want to be clear. Yes, we are a loyalty program that happens to have a credit card, but you don't need to have the credit card, as you, as you mentioned, to, to earn points. In fact, we're we're actually working with all of our partners and their credit cards, and we're encouraging their members to to add their their cards, their preferred cards, to the built wallet, um, and they can they can earn, you know, the currency of that partner. So if it's an airline, they can earn the the airline uh, currency uh, just by interacting with the the built neighborhood um, and using that card that's attached to their wallet. Um, we, we recently launched a partnership with Alaska Airlines that took that a step further. So now Alaska members can not just exchange um, built points over to the Alaska Mileage Plan program, but they can actually uh, now start earning Alaska miles directly just by paying their rent um, and by using their, their Alaska uh, Visa Signature Card. So that is a, a, a big kind of step in, in a direction where we're actually uh, becoming a platform that enables our partners to actually engage their members um, in a space that they weren't able to before. So we're driving more and more spend and engagement on their cards um, and allowing uh, these members to earn the currency that they choose um, just by paying rent. Um, with regards to what have we seen with regards to the uh, performance? So there's a number of different things. Obviously, when you when you launch a new program, 
Um, there's a number of different metrics that we're, we're tracking. Our enrollment is considerably high um, every month. Um, our open rates in our emails is at about 70%, which is extraordinary. Um, we, we, um, we continuously see rent payments, um, you know, on-time rent payments continuously uh, grow. Um, it, the, the membership is now touching 2 million already. Um, and that's just under, we're, we're kind of, we're tiptoeing our way into uh, two years um, fully out in the market. Um, and when we're starting to see people engage with the program, redemption, which I've always been a big advocate for in any program I've ever, ever worked on, we're seeing redemption at really kind of very healthy levels. Um, you know, rent continues to be our, our number one with regards to um, redemption transactions. Um, and that's quickly followed by, you know, statement credits and travel. So we've kind of tried to build an ecosystem that is relevant um, to all of our membership base and our partners members. Um, and in doing so, I think that's allowed us to, to have a very engaging program. You know, you just need to download the Built Rewards app and you'll see the, the content that we create. Um, it's, it's very engaging. It's, it's very inter interactive and intuitive as well. Uh, education is a big part of what we do. Um, you know, we like our members to get the best value that they can from, from Built Points. You know, I'm, I'm sure you've seen, but Built, uh, the currency of Built has, has just been kind of listed as the most valuable loyalty currency on the planet uh, by, you know, Nerd Wallet and the Points guy. Um, so it's, it's a currency that is desirable. But it's also a program that allows us to to work with our partners to really engage their members so they can look at us as kind of a platform and a channel to really activate their members um, in the, the 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 built broader ecosystem so one of the things that we did see with um and just to kind of uh touch on on some of the 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 metrics that we've seen i uh, you know I don't think I'm I'm uh, breaking any uh, uh, confidentiality here, but when we actually enabled um, Alaska members to 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 use their card um, for for rent, we saw uh, Alaska saw a three uh, over three x in the first month on spend on those card members, um, and that's that's a huge jump. And to me, that represents a big opportunity for all of our partners. Um, so as we kind of like continuously look at things, um, and we, we, we've constantly looked at evolving the program and making sure that we listen to, to feedback and, and, you know, if members are basically telling us, look, I want to start earning this currency, uh, for rent, that's what we started to do. Um, so big opportunity there. It's interesting, you know, and I think that those, that's that's definitely a, 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 a fascinating insight. And I, I, I also take away um, your comments about sort of redemptions uh, and the volume of redemptions, you know, and you sort of said sort of travel was sort of in, in about third spot there. Yep. And, and I think maybe that, that answers a little bit of sort of the question I was sort of hinting at there was in terms of, you know, do you have a bit of a bifurcation of, you know, savvy points and miles people on one side who, you know, the reality is if you jump on Google and you look things up, yep. You know, that's what dominates the first page of, of, of Google results, which is fine if you are somebody who is a savvy sort of points and miles aficionado, but but many, many, many consumers in the marketplace are not, um, or certainly not as savvy as perhaps maybe they think they are. Um, but, you know, honestly, they're generally busy with their lives and they don't spend, you know, all their time, you know, reading every article on, a, on points and miles blogs. Um, you know, and when we think about perhaps some of your core constituency, you know, being a tenant in a, you know, a built alliance partner property, for example, you know, ha have you seen, um, ha have you seen that a, a, a portion or a, a noticeable portion of, of those customers and members um, that you're looking at them and, you know, when you're sort of gleaning some insights or, you know, profiling them, you know, yep. in terms of segments that you're seeing, hmm. This is interesting because the built platform is acting as a bit of an introduction to these people into 
the ability to sort of redeem in the the travel sphere um so, as opposed to your points and miles aficionados who are obviously very familiar with that right and you know you're you're absolutely right there's going to be points and miles people out there that are always going to be looking at ways to to get the best value they possibly can from any program and that's the it's no different with built and they realize a lot of value from built but what we're actually doing is we're we're engaging in much broader base so the, the, the points and miles people represent probably, you know, less than 1% of, of people that are, are, are playing in the program. We st started out by, you know, I've always said that one of the, the critical things to get right with any Lloyd program is to keep it simple and allow people to be able to understand it. But the other thing is making sure that it's easy to use and there's utility. So we've spent a lot of time with a the, you know the the broader constituency are people that are not kind of savvy with with points and miles but they're interested in getting rewarded and actually they're interested in learning more about how they can save money and we continuously present them with content that allows them to understand what they're getting um the 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 value that they're getting and the savings that they're getting and then we also create content that allows them to understand the best ways to get even more value. Um, so by constantly updating the, the uh, built for you kind of content within the built app, um, it becomes a little bit more personal and people can kind of really dive deep into where they actually see value. There's a lot of members, um, you know, our, our core constituency I mentioned earlier on that are redeeming their points for rent. And that's just what they want to do. They want to be able to save not only, um, you know, on everyday things, but they really like to see that kind of, you know, 20, 50, 100 bucks off on, on rent um, every month. We've, we've partnered with Amazon to allow a broader base to be able to use their points for everyday shopping, um, you know, and that's an important um, aspect as well, because like you said, there are multiple different segments within our customer base that are interested in different things and we're touching on their everyday lives, you know, so whether it be travel, whether it be rent, whether it be fitness, whether it be kind of mobility, you know, with our partnership with Lyft. So bringing that type of utility to, 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 the, to the program and making it easy for people to understand it is key. Um, you know, one of the things that we're starting to do now is really evolve the program to ensure that it's benefits led. So people to start to understand how the more they engage with the program, the more benefits they actually start to, to uncover. Um, and once they start understanding how easy those are to achieve and to, to um, utilize, by the way, um, then you're going to have more and more engagement in the program. And we continuously see that every week. You know, I, I mentioned the fact that we listen constantly. We engage with our members on all platforms, whether it be kind of the social platforms or whether it be kind of like the Reddits of the world or, or, or so forth. You know, we, we want to understand what are the things that they're looking for next. And we try and make sure that if we're going to do it, we do it in a way that they understand and they can use. Um, so I'm kind of, I'm, I'm proud of the fact that every single constituent within the built um, uh, population is getting value from the program, um, and that's one of the things that that we want to continue to do is make sure that that educational element is there and people realize that value. So you, you made a comment a few minutes ago, Dave, about you know the, the importance of simplicity uh, in in the program and the ability for you know members or potential you know members to 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 understand how it works, what yeah. benefit can I get, and how can I how can I redeem you know to, for something of value. Um, you know, as you mentioned, you're only, ju only just sort of coming on two years, you know, fully you know fully kind of out in the wild uh, in the marketplace. You know, how has your I guess you know program value proposition evolved over time because sort of how it worked at the beginning when you sort of launched to sort of how it is now, you know, aren't one and the same, are they? They're not. Uh, I mean, at the, at, uh, at the center, it's kind of more or less stayed the same in the sense that, you know, you get one X on, on rent 
2x on on travel and 3x on dining but we've also introduced as we kind of work with the the, the neighborhood element you know in in the launch of bill's dining we're now kind of overlaying um, that base um, uh, offering of 3x and dining where if you're actually dining at a built dining restaurant you can actually multiply that even more um, and the restaurants are going to have the capability of almost kind of adjusting that dynamically uh, to time of day or whatever. So if we've got 3x dining today uh, as the base and you go to a, to a built dining restaurant, uh, and by the way, if you go into the built app and you look um, at restaurants near you, they'll, they'll, they'll populate. Um, well, you'll see, you might see 3x, you might see 5x, that's actually on top of your 3x. Um, so there's constantly, we're constantly looking at ways uh, like that. So we introduced, when we, when we built out our travel ecosystem with our transfer partners, you know, we wanted to find a way to allow members to actually understand how transfer works because beyond the points and miles people, people didn't really understand that. So we partnered with point.me to, to help people to understand how they can actually search for reward seats on, on uh, our partner airlines and get the best value from their points. Um, you know, we're, and we're doing that um, with, with, uh, with the hotel side as well. You know, we, we introduced the built travel portal to allow access, accessibility to travel and the utilization of build points and the earning structure of build points as well is all there. Um, but, there, there's more things to come, you know. So as we kind of like look at the the neighborhood element, we're looking, you know, we've already got fitness, we've already got dining, we're getting into grocery, that's coming, you know. We're we're getting into pharmacy, that's coming. So all of a sudden, all of the the um, relevant categories within your local neighborhood are going to be part of the built neighborhood rewards program. Um, so I think the, the, the outcome of that will be while built started purely as a, a program that are rewards, uh, rent, we're, we're, we're very quickly evolving into a program that rewards all activity within your local neighborhood. And that makes us really, really relevant, especially to the younger generation who like to understand that. This is really easy. I only have to use this one program and I'm kind of like, engage, I can engage with everybody. Um, so, and, and I, I'll come back to the educational element because that's key as well. Because when we work, when we onboard a partner, one of the big things that we invest time on is educating our membership base on the partners program and how you can actually use that. Um, so, we're very proud of that. We work very closely with our partners to ensure that they kind of get the best value out of built. Um, and like I said, it's 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 a constant onion, for want of a better term. You know, we're peeling back the the onion layers. Um, you know, I've I've constantly been asked about when are you getting into mortgages? Well, we're actually working on something like that. You know, that's kind of the next iteration um, where we start looking at. What is the next big idea that we can kind of bring in that really fits well with what we're doing from the outset? Um, and, you know, there's, there's so many different things that we're doing. Um, that, but it's exciting. It's like it's, it's, it's really cool to kind of see a membership base engage with you from the off. You know, we spent a lot of time on the... The member experience from the moment that you kind of enroll or show an interest in built we kind of have this early engagement series that tries to kind of educate you on how to use the program and and, and so forth um, you know we're we're tiptoeing our way into the student population you know and seeing if there's a way in which we can understand what are the needs and what are the challenges um, of, of students today and is there a way for us to reward them and get them set up and on a path to, you know, um, building their credit, as it were, um, and setting them up for success for the long term? You know, I've always said that 
of all the programs I've ever worked on, Built is the first program, I think, in my career that is truly relevant for your whole life. Because it, you know, as soon as you become uh, a, fir a first kind of, you know, your first rent payment, all the way to home ownership and beyond, and then kind of having the ecosystem in play that engages you on a daily basis. That's kind of the holy grail. And I think we're doing a great job in, in doing that. Um, you know, so we've got a young base, um, you know, 24 to 34. Uh, median is about 29, 30. Um, and it's, it's continuously growing. Um, and it's, it's it, you know, what's really crazy, David, is I, I remember when we first started out and, you know, all of us within built were kind of some of the very first card holders as it were. And now you're seeing built in the wild a lot and mm -hmm. people are talking about it. Um, and, you know, it's great to see that. And it's not a fly by night kind of gimmick. It's basically something that uh, is creating a value um, and allows people to kind of actually start networking within their own neighborhood and kind of like, saying, hey, what value are you getting? And you're, mm. you, I, I see it all the time now. You know, I, I'm going to restaurants and I'm seeing built um, uh, being being used. And, you know, if you if you do the built dining experience, I mean, you can go right into our app and book your restaurant. Um, it's it's really cool. Um, and, so, you, so that's and, you, and you mentioned a big part of the strategy has been, you know, to sort of broaden the horizon in terms of, you know, who the program is for. So not just renters. You know, um, you know, and, and and more of a neighborhood focus, and even you know, perhaps in the future, more homeowner uh, focus as well. Um, you also mentioned the very very high um, redemption engagement amongst yeah. members, which of course, you know, in any loyalty program, as you mentioned, is sort of the high, holy holy grail. The whole point is to get members to the point of redemption. Um, do you notice any trends uh, that you're able to speak to? Putting you on the spot here, um, you know, in terms of sort of differences in some of those, like say renters versus non-renters, for example. Um, am I seeing any, tra so renters versus non-renters, what do you mean? Yeah, in terms of sort of redemption, redemption activity or engagement levels, things like okay. that. Okay, yeah, I mean, what we're seeing is once people obviously redeem, we're seeing engagement with them on an ongoing basis increase, mm -hmm. um, you know, and one of the things that we started, and we were very, you know, we were very deliberate in making sure the hurdles to redemption were low or, you know, lower um, and easy to, to attain. Um, so what we've seen is the more people redeem, the more engaged they become. So we've, we've seen, you know, and we, we, uh, I, I'm going to come back to the dining piece as well and the neighborhood piece, because we, what we're actually starting to see is the more people spend within their local community, the repeat business is actually starting to happen. And, you know, some of our, our restaurant partners have actually said it's it's really cool to see people come back and it's because of, of built dining. Um, and we're, we're proud of that. And that's why we're working beyond dining now in other areas of the neighborhood to ensure that the local merchants are actually going to see that type of increased behavior. You know, it's not if you think about the i i mentioned the voucher kind of system before where you you go in you kind of say here's my five bucks off uh mm -hmm. well that that kind of that, that type of behavior before was a one uh, one and done deal what you're actually starting to see now is people are earning build points in their neighborhood and because of that and because they realize there's value in these points they're going back and they're earning more so the acceleration on earn is definitely happening as a result of people seeing value in the currency. Fantastic. Good news story all around, it seems, Dave. And, uh, you know, always fascinated to sort of see, you know, the new initiatives coming with Built and all the rest. It's, as we sort of said, only a couple of years really out in the wild in the market. So, so uh, a lot of runway uh, left to go, uh, you know, in terms of seeing the program mature. Um, looking forward to seeing you in Chicago on September 17th, 18th. Thank you so much for joining today and giving a, a little bit more insight uh, into what's been happening with Built. Any sort of final things that there maybe, you know, is there anything, anything you could share on the immediate horizon coming up? Look, we've got some really cool stuff happening, um, both at the, the core level from a, a value proposition perspective, 
um, we're working hard on making the 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 the, the travel experience um, even more rewarding. Um, so stay tuned for that. So there's there's a lot coming on the travel side, um, you know. And and like I said, I mentioned that we've got mortgages coming. There's other things coming as well that, um, you know, we we need a whole new episode to kind of talk about those. Fantastic. Well, maybe there'll be some developments we can talk about in Chicago at Lodi Summit, Dave. Thanks always for your time. Uh, and I know our listeners appreciate always he hearing from you and uh, and seeing how things are going both with Bill and also just your general Lodi insights, um, you know, in, in general. Thanks again, and we will speak soon. Cheers, David. All the best. Bye-bye. Hey.